Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia in Spain. Normally we wrestle with what nature is, but today I want to wrestle with something else. That is that lovely animal over there called giraffe. It is really, it breaks my head. Anyway, there are two kinds of tools that I use all the time. The one is the spade and the one is the excavator. When we did dig these swales, lots of lumps sticking out and we have to level this berm and I use it with a, I do it with a, a spade. To do it with the excavator, to bring it in here and move it, move it, move it, it is, I, I cannot just do that. So I prefer to have the spade. The neighbors tells, tells me, tell me that I have spaditis. I rather do things with a spade than with an excavator. Other people have machinitis. For the life of them, they cannot get out of this excavator to take a shovel, to move something small. They will sit and manipulate this excavator until it is done with the machine. Right, here we are. This is the site for a pond. This is exactly two years since we came to see this farm the first time. But we only live here for 18 months. Already two years ago I identified sites for ponds and now two years later I have started to clear the topsoil and uh, then to start preparing the clay to be compacted to create some form of wall. Now the thing is when you're just in your stride with the machine my experience then it decides to something is wrong there's no diesel or this bucket is chock block of clay it, I have to remove it or one of these tracks jump the sprockets and then I have to get a plastic sheeting a metal rod, some tools, spanners we call them, a bag to carry everything, some paper, kitchen paper, and then the wife wonders what happened to it, because it's always full of grease and then the grease pump. And in this little hole is a track adjuster, tensor, to release the pressure, to adjust it or to increase it. For that I use one of these spanners and it moves a millimeter then I have to turn the spanner around and another millimeter so I have to do it 48 times. Quite an amazing thing. And by that time, the hydraulic fluid lowered the track. Then I have to start the machine again and get it higher up again. And then I have to adjust it with the grease pump. And then uh, while I'm busy doing that, 
then I realize the grease pump is empty. Anyway, I'm complaining a lot. Machinitis. I don't really have that. I'm very happy to get off the machine and do something with a spade. Let's see how the pond will come along. It is a long process. I don't think it will... Hopefully we'll have water this year, but I don't think it will be finished this year. It might take years. I also have some uh, tape in my hand. I want to go and tape the foot of Sky. He's limping. But uh, when he sees the others chasing each other, he will go full force. Or when there's a melontheo, one of these cat-like animals in this area, it will chase it. So maybe I'll put some tissue paper around the leg and then this masking tape. I'm sure he will chew it off, but uh, it will might just be a reminder, go slow. And also he can tell the other dogs, listen, look, I have a problem. Be kind to me, which I doubt. Let's see. Sky is now in solitary confinement. I want him to rest his foot according to the vet. But uh, he's howling. How's life? All okay? Let's see what we can do. Till next time. Goodbye.